Welcome to your Las Vegas weekend forecast for the weekend of September 25th. I'm your host, Ace. And I'm Amanda. Thank you for tuning in to 2DN News, where we focus on events, news, and things to do in Las Vegas. Let's go to your breaking news. The Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas prohibits smoking in public walkways, resorts, and corridors. Masks are still mandatory inside of the resort, but the casino says guests can remove their masks while smoking. I'm really enjoying this non-smoking trend that's going on with the strip. I hope it sticks around a little bit. Yes, I do enjoy the no smoking part. I like where the casino is headed and it's a positive for your health and your lung. Yes, it is. So, let's keep it up, guys. Keep it rolling. Let's shuffle up a deal. The Wynn Las Vegas is reopening their poker room later this month. Beginning September 30th at noon, guests can enjoy the Wynn Poker Room games seven days a week, 24 hours a day. There will be a maximum of eight players per table and separated by plexiglass dividers and they will be required to wear proper face coverings during play. The win has also reduced the number of tables to ensure adequate social distancing. I have never played at the win poker. I heard there's plenty of action there. I hear that the win poker room is excellent to play in. I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like. We haven't played there. Yeah. I haven't. I would sure like to play there eventually. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to the Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders win against the Saints during their first home game at Allegiant Stadium. Las Vegas Raiders won 34-24 against the Saints during their first home game at the new Allegiant Stadium. Fans were not able to attend, but Raiders Nation is alive and well in Sin City. There was a lot of different celebrations going on at the Strip during the game. I'm just glad the bar was able to be open just in time for fans to come and have a drink and watch the game. It did make a difference at the casino. You could tell it was a lot busier. Yeah, it was lively and the Raiders are 2-0. Speaking of football, let's go to our lock of the week. Our lock of the week is the Arizona Cardinal against the Detroit Lions, we have a spread of minus six and we're taking the Cardinals for the lock of the week. Lock it in. What did we do last week? Our stats are 1-0-1. One, one. We have one win, zero losses, and one tie. The Ravens won against the Texans by 17 points, but the spread was only seven. So, win for our lock of the week. Hope you guys enjoy Vegas just as much as we do. We love it so much, we got a job here. Yay, us dealers. Remember, be a part of the Dub Nation by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget, we have a Las Vegas to the End fan group. Be a part of that group where we bring you tons of information. Let's go to Ace, the Asian sensation for our weekend weather forecast. Welcome to this weekend weather forecast. I'm the weatherman Ace, known as the Asian Sensation. Let's get to the three day forecast for this weekend. On Friday, we have 101 and a low of 70. It does get cooler here during the fall season, so this is probably the best time to come around this time because the weather is wonderful. Yeah! And on Saturday, we have 100 and the low of 70. Sunday we have 101 and the low of 73. The weather's getting cooler, but I always have to remind people when you're drinking, try to hydrate. My drug sergeant always tell me, hydrate or die. We don't want you to be dying out there. So thank you and have a wonderful time. I'm out. Let's go to your two favorite downtown dealers and see what they're up to for their Friday fun day. What's going on guys? We are here on our day off and we're getting some louse food at Sister Oriental Market. It's a little hole in the wall, but <laughs> if you don't know, we 
travel to Laos and it was fun. It you was. Wanna, you want to check out those videos? Click somewhere up here. So we're going to go get a grub on. Let's chow. Let's see. Cheers, Cheers to Friday Fun Day. Hope y'all enjoy. This is a nam cow and it is a rice dish. You form on like curry and rice and patties and deep fry it and break it up with sausage. And it looks yummy. We got it without cilantro, of course, because Amanda doesn't eat cilantro, but uh, it comes with onions and peanuts and sausage and peppers, chili peppers. Mm. Yummy. What's going on? We got some papaya salad <laughs> lifestyle here at the Sister Oriental Market. Pretty fresh ingredients, just young papaya, some tomatoes, we got some green beans and a little bit of cabbage. And what I like to do, take some sticky rice, take a little bit, you know back then they didn't have spoons, these are the best spoons you could have. And the pièce de résistance is the crying tiger, it, see the steam coming up of it? It is ribeye uh, sliced up and cooked it's rare like medium rare and it has a special dipping sauce and veggies it's hot mm. we're taking some of this home no food left behind the damage is done i guess i'll be leaving <laughs> We didn't go away empty-handed. We and sure didn't. I got some treats for myself too. So we had such a good lunch. It, Isn't that great? It was a delicious lunch and it is our Friday fun day. We do recommend coming here. It's a little hole in the wall. They don't have very much seating, but if you want some authentic Laotian food, it's really good here and they're super nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that helped. Well, it's our day is coming to an end back to the studio that food was delicious yes it is and it's so unsuspecting in this little like shopping area and there's bars on the doors and, and yeah it's not the best part of the neighborhood but it's a little sketchy but <laughs> if you think about it it's we're still on fremont let's go see where amanda's hanging out at for this weekend's local Spotlight Casino of the Week. I'm Amanda with 2DN News and this is your local Spotlight Casino of the Week, the Silverton. Silverton Las Vegas is a 300 room hotel and casino in Enterprise, Nevada, near the southern end of the Las Vegas Valley. Located on an 80 acre plot, the hotel's market is California tourists and locals. The 69,056 square foot casino is set on a rustic lodge and water motif. Formerly known as Boontown Las Vegas, the property opened in May 27, 1994. The current owner, Ed Roski Jr., renamed the property the Silverton in 1997. A $150 million renovation in 2004 included the opening of a 145,000 square foot Bass Pro Shop. In addition, several of the rooms were remodeled to Jacuzzi Suites along with the hotel updates. And that's our local Spotlight Casino of the Week, the Silverton. Back to the studio. I do enjoy the Silverton. I do too, and one of the neatest things is the Bass Pro Shop there at the Silverton. Yes, so eventually maybe we'll go and visit back when the, since the bar is back open. That would be awesome. They have what they call the mermaid bar right next to the giant fish tank. I think that would be great to enjoy some cocktails Ooh, there. Yeah, yes. sipping and watching some uh -huh. fish eat. There's something so relaxing about watching that particular fish tank to me. I really enjoyed yeah. it. 
We'll go back. Yes, we will. I recommend Seratin to those who like Bass Pro Shop and fishes. I'm Ace. And I'm Amanda. Reminding you to keep the drink flowing and the dice rolling until we meet again. Keep soaring to the end.